A small child gets bullied on the playground. A salesman forgets to mention a key point resulting in the loss of a sale. A heartbroken partner goes too far in an argument ending the relationship. And then comes the anguish. We relive these past mistakes in our minds over and over again. And focusing on these things, it causes tremendous stress. But it's done. We can't change the outcome. At least reliving it in our minds we can't. Maybe there's some, some action we can take in the future to change it. But reliving those things, again, just adds to the stress. Okay, then there's the other scenario where we're worried about the future. And we project the worst case scenario out there. And that does nothing to help us either because it just creates disappointment before it actually plays out. And again, additional stress. The quarterback that hits his receiver in the numbers and the receiver drops the ball. And we look at the instant replay and we realize the reason the receiver dropped the ball is because he wasn't focusing on the ball coming into his hands. He was looking downfield. He wasn't present in the moment. That is the issue. So when we really look at these things, past regrets and future worries are just negative thoughts that are filled with judgment. So, so what is the answer? Well, the first thought is that, you know, if you listen to Abraham Maslow, okay, Maslow's been famous for talking about the issue about the ability to be present in the moment is a major component to mental wellness. So that's where we want to be. We want to focus on the moment. So the answer is living in the moment. So see your future scenario the way you want it to be. Because at the end of the day, most of what we worry about doesn't happen anyway. So why suffer through unneeded stress? Why create that for yourself? So this week, just pay attention to the internal dialogue in your mind as you experience a negative event. And just redirect your mind to the present moment. And it's amazing how many productive hours you'll get back. If you know someone that can benefit from this message, I simply ask that you pass it along. And in the meantime, just have a great, great week.